Hey guys and welcome back to Schneids 15. Uh, today we got a surprise for you guys. I know I got a big uh, Cummins following online so I thought I'd uh, share my uh, 10 year long journey of trying to find a sweet truck and uh, we got it. So uh, I just first want to say thank you, really thank you for this. Jeff Hogue on YouTube got this $100 gift card from him. Oh, I don't know probably like two or three months ago now I keep telling or I told him I was gonna make a video and put him in it but uh, yeah I never got around to it I get busy in the summer being a boat mechanic and YouTube kind of comes last and it's not there but anyways I love uh, Jeff's uh, his business name Jeff's old Volks home that's awesome I really love that for specializing in Volkswagen so if you guys uh, have Volkswagen people in Canada and you need parts or anything talk to Jeff because he sounds like he's the guy but anyways Jeff gave me that gift card in a video uh, talking about his comments when he was addressing the killer dowel pin or checking it out in the front cover and uh, anyways we got a 12 valve here so after 10 years I always wanted a W250 but uh, I got a D250 and so that's a two-wheel drive and it's an LE package uh, really clean. I just wanted original because I didn't want to repaint it or anything. I wanted it to have some dents and bruises and stuff and I pretty well got none of them. It's very hard to find one and I'm very picky with my trucks. So uh, this thing came from the west. Really good shape. There's a little bit of rust around the edges and stuff that we're gonna fix up but man like I haven't even washed it guys. You can see that it's all dirty. I haven't washed anything. It's not waxed. Uh, I'm gonna set this stuff back here like you can you can feel that it's like really really gritty that stuff because it's never been waxed anyways this is it uh, the only bit of rust I got is right there where it's coming through I haven't cleaned it up at all but uh, otherwise man she is solid she's a good truck and uh, Everything is in really good condition. I uh, just started working on this. This was all dirty, so I got this uh, armor all. I've tried turtle wax and others on the second gen. This stuff works amazing. So I just did that top piece of the door panel and really it came out so clean. It was gray before. So, and then next is to get this stuff cleaned up. But man, if you guys look under here, look at that, like the seat is like brand new. Everything's like brand new. Uh, that door panel's next for my project tonight of slowly working. Dash is in good shape. Headliner's in good shape. Everything is really, really in good shape. And uh, everything's straight. I'm really happy with it. I just wanted something rust free and a good driver. So this is gonna be it. Just got a nice grill to her everything's in really really good shape the only thing you know what the camera might pick it out if I go like this uh, right there you can see around that wheel well there's a bit of a touch-up but the only time you're gonna see it is on this camera right now and you can see it and there's almost like a touch up there it's a little bit darker once I buff the rest of the paint you know what it's gonna probably uh, make that go away a bit but all this looks like stone chips down here but it's really not like it's in such good shape it looks like this is all stone chips but it's not I just haven't washed anything yet so we got some parts coming to get it so we can safety it um, but otherwise it's just an original survivor everything works I'll uh, fire it up here and show you Everything works. I gotta shut that off.
Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I just had a shower here after work. I worked for a couple hours after work on a boat we've been fixing up. And, man, it is so hot here today. It's, I think, 29 Celsius, 30 Celsius, which some people may laugh at. But the humidity is just crazy. Anyways, it's, it's hot. So uh, I'm not going to do any more filming today. But, uh, yeah, anyways, there's there's the truck. Uh, if you guys want, we'll do one on the second general, get her all shined up. You guys, I'm sure, will like that. It's uh, I got her pretty well dialed in now and looking really good, and I'm really happy with it. But, uh, yeah, here's the new baby. We're going to just keep cleaning it up slowly. I got uh, shocks coming for it, front rotors, pads. They're a little bit warped. It stops really good, but they're, they're warped, and I want it to be a nice, smooth truck. And I mean, it shifts amazing. Everything really works well. So uh, got a new thermostat coming for it because the old guy that owned it changed it out to 190 degree thermostat rather than a 180. And and it had a different circuit in it or something. I don't know. I didn't look at the thermostat design. Something about flow. He wanted it to warm up faster in the winter. And he said it really didn't help that much. So uh, anyways, new thermostat's coming new serpentine belt I'm sure you heard a little bit of a squeal so new serpentine belts coming and the squeal is caused by a bad tensioner it's got so much play in it to the side that the belt is only running about this far on the actual tensioner so yeah I'm uh, really happy with it though with the LE like the both power windows work uh, the door lock works on the passenger side but not the driver side I might tear into it someday, but I'm really not that concerned because I always go in the driver's side anyways and unlock your door with the key to get inside, so it really doesn't matter. But I gotta say, even the second gen doesn't have power windows or locks, and it's pretty cool having them. So, uh, yeah, everything works though. Cargo light, overdrive, everything. We'll, we'll take you guys for a driving video soon, and everything's unmolested. Rebuilt injection pump, uh, in 2010 so I mean it's 12 years old already or 11 years old but uh, I mean it's been done hasn't been messed with and that's the whole thing that I wanted one that wasn't messed with by some young kid and I mean you know what I don't look down on that because I was once a young kid and I'm, I'm still a young kid that might play around with it a bit but because uh, it's all fun and tuning getting to know mechanics and that's why I love these trucks so uh yeah ball joints were done in it everything's tight in this truck steering box uh, i'm just really happy with the u-joints and so if we do go to add power to it though the first thing i'll do is probably if i find a 518 that's been built or i can get one built or i don't know what people swap into them but i like keeping stuff original if i could get a 518 built and throw it in i mean this thing accelerates really quick already because it's so light and at the 160 horsepower it's at, I'm really happy with it. So uh, maybe do a little bit of tuning on it, but I just want it to be a nice Sunday driver. Um, air conditioning does work if you charge it up. It's got a leak. He showed me where the leak was because he put a new he heater core in it and didn't replace the seals on the block where they go together. So he said it leaks in there. So if I got new seals, it would probably work. He says if you charge it up, it'll work right away. So uh, we're probably gonna do that at some point too if I can find the leak I'll I got a buddy that's got a pressure tester and we'll do that um, but otherwise I forgot to show you this it's got a super solid roof apparently it had some stone chips on it but uh, he had his buddy just touch them up as you can see like it's all tin and it's in really good shape so I just had this old canvas tarp I put over the windshield to keep her cool but Otherwise, everything's in such good shape. I'm, like I said, I haven't even, uh, I haven't even washed it yet. So if I wash it, I'm sure it's gonna look a lot better. So I, my plan is to wash it, wax it, maybe do a very light compound on it and see what it comes out like, and uh, just make this thing a clean driver. So anyways, thanks for watching guys, and we'll bring you along on the journey of the first gen.
As always guys, thanks for watching and please give the channel a like and a subscribe. If my videos interest you, please click on my channel and check out my other videos.